this is not just about science. It's about actually personal understanding and development. Crikey, yeah. So it's kind of like it's about sort of looking in, isn't it? Um, it's it's sort of turned the you know, obviously the the obsession with space time because it's been such a successful paradigm frame of reference. Um, you know, we're, we're looking out there, looking for the the answers inside this kind of space time manifold. But um, obviously, you're kind of sort of turning it on its head and sort of looking within and saying, like, actually, what is going on with consciousness and being? And I mean, that I mean, could we um could we talk a little bit about that bridge building that you've mentioned? I and mean, that's that's something that's just fascinated some of our members. The idea that you know, you've come up with a kind of um, sort of mathematics to, to to model conscious agents. And I think there's some sort of Markovian matrices yes. and things like that. We'd, and you're then mapping that into the decorated permutations, which which and there's yes. a mathematical means of um, some of this is way beyond me. I'll, 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 get, I'll be honest, but um, and then mapping into these amplitohedra, which can be used to do the scatter, scattering amplitudes and stuff in an actual particle accelerator. So you can actually yep. now empirically within this space time manifold, you can test the efficacy of some of your conscious agents. I mean, that's, I just wonder where you are with that now, because that would be absolutely phenomenal, wouldn't it? Well, yes, absolutely. And and, and I should say that, um, you know, turnabout's fair play. What I said at the start about the physicalist approaches was, you know, show me your empirical predictions about specific conscious experiences. You can't do it. Well, then mm. why should we? So fair enough to turn that right back on me. <laughs> so Hoffman, you're saying you're starting with this, notion of conscious experiences and conscious conscious agents with these experiences outside of space time how are you going to give me a testable prediction that we can you know find out you know, we're trying to do science here not hand waves i mean the philosophy is fine but what we're trying to do is science here this is not philosophy and so what i'm trying to do then is to start with a mathematically rigorous theory of consciousness and like go into it basically I should say what, what you have to do is try to find the minimal set of assumptions to build up your theory, right? You, this is Occam's razor. Build, use the minimal set of assumptions and get the maximal explanatory power out of them. And so I just assume with my colleagues, Chaitan Prakash and others that I've worked with, that two aspects of consciousness that I'm going to put in my theory as foundational. There are experiences and there are probabilistic relationships among those experiences. If I experience red now, there's some probability that I might experience green next or that you might experience green next. That's it. So learning, memory, problem solving, intelligence, the self, um, free will, none of those go into the fundamental assumptions. Those all have to come out. But what we can prove, so we, what we do is we model those Key, two key ideas. There are experiences and probabilistic relationships among them. 